Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is March 7th, 2020, and we're doing a live stream, open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, and more. And there's much, much more going on in the world. Uh, very busy very busy there's a lot of things going on all over the place on all fronts so there's a lot to talk about uh, it could be serious it might not be um, that's my little intro for this because we've done a fair bit of these uh, what i'm going to do right now is uh, just do a little pop out the chat so we don't lose any chat when people do uh, start coming in and um uh, we'll leave it there we've done like before i don't know how many we've we've been doing this for a couple of years now i guess and the conversation has picked up we've built up a lot of content already a lot of topics we've talked about some stuff is everything cyclic right it comes up again and drifts away it comes up again so the new cycle is very cyclic and uh we've laid down a lot of discussion already that we can build up on or start new ones or recap some of the stuff we've already covered okay aside from that we usually wait uh, a few minutes until people start rolling in uh, 10 to 15 minutes or so sometimes notifications don't go out right away uh, we've seen before i didn't bring a stack of comics to show you guys a while until the notifications go out um, but uh, if you're watching this on another platform be shoot youtube or whatever else there might be uh, in the future we'll have uh, links in the description of the video to taking you to if there are any important long discussions we talk about we'll try to put some time stamps in the, in the description and links uh, possibly okay we might also take out little segments and edit out those little segments and load those up individually sometimes that's what we've done okay yeah it's uh what do you call it uh the i was checking out the emp how are you doing i was checking out the news feeds and stuff like this there's a lot of stuff uh, feels like the internet's slower right now i don't know what the deal is there was some power outages in different places uh, around the world uh in canada united states anyway where it was affecting i think i came across something regarding verizon it was affecting their uh, flow of information uh, covid uh, 19 we've covered a lot coolio how are you doing i just shot a more video this morning as well just a follow-up to what we're talking about with the mathematics love that shirt thanks <laughs> hello oldie hello big popal how are you doing the shirt I jacked from my sister. She was getting rid of it. I grabbed it. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Bruce, how's it going? I hope you're having a good time. Hope you guys are having a good start to your uh, weekend. Okay. For me, I've been I've been getting up earlier and earlier, uh, getting my news feed going. Uh, especially when we start when we schedule them in the current events live streams for a couple of days before the current event hits i try to free up enough time so i can process consume a lot of information coming in i can't stay for this whole stream no worries Kolio, because i'm meeting my friend who moved to australia for drinks oh that's the one you said you were gonna hit up for advice on moving right but i will be at all uh on the one tomorrow okay awesome Kolio. looking forward to that one a lot actually okay awesome yeah i've been meaning to pull down uh, for tomorrow we're doing a live stream on philosophy and uh, i was i might be able to do it today i was gonna pull this out and uh, maybe try to find a couple of segments a couple of pages to read out of gudel escher bach right an eternal golden braid by douglas hofstetter i was thinking it, this isn't the book i read the 
uh, this is a new version i had an older version that i read like 105 pages of it and i had to put it down it's just getting too heavy and i didn't have the time it's like a long book but uh, even that 105 pages it took me months to read 105 pages it had some amazing stuff in there right beautiful got any books with pictures a lot of them <laughs> here I'll show you this I got a lot let me find you an amazing pic Swamp Thing Alan Moore Stephen Bassett John Tollenben Sean McManus this is uh, uh, from the first stuff that Alan Moore was putting out writing out Chicho have a few thousand comic books so yes <laughs> yes many <laughs> many right. if you're not reading comic books I don't know Some of the most amazing, amazing stories in human history have been told through the realm of comics, right? Martin, how are you doing? I think I have, I have seen that first book before. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I showed it to you guys. Uh, Might have shown it during a reading a comic book hall Sandman discussion. I'm not sure who's your favorite ancient philosopher i.e diagnosis plato you know what coolio i've read a few of them right so i can't remember who said what <laughs> who's 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 stuff that i liked and who's like for me it's the it's it's not the person delivering it but the the idea the concept right i'm and, and as you know i'm horrendous with names so i can't tell you who, who who did the allegory of the cave with the shadows uh was that plato socrates i don't know pythagorean uh she knew hachicho good to see you happy to be here i've been meaning to do more regular days but right now my schedule's packed during the week uh, just uh coming towards the last leg of the school year so i start getting a little bit busier so we'll try to put in at least two live streams on the weekends and hopefully uh during spring break i'm gonna do a little bit more okay afternoon king lucky how are you doing yes comic book video 2017 nice good memory martin padre 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 how are you doing hey chicho i read days of destruction days of revolts thanks for the recommendation my pleasure my pleasure must read book if you live in the united states and canada it's a must read book okay fair enough i get them mixed up sometimes too i always saw ancient philosophers or as daredevils because they they so easily uh could get uh persecuted for their views and yes the allegory of the cave is plato okay cool and a lot of them did get persecuted because of their beliefs right how many philosophers do we know that uh were thinkers that were told to take poison <laughs> to kill themselves right i don't know what that is uh fiji you a school teacher i i tutor i do private i do private uh teaching okay uh, mainly mathematics if you go to my youtube youtube channel uh sleepy waves if you go to my youtube channel you'll find shitload of content on teaching mathematics and other things <laughs> sorry it's just there's uh, there's a lot there i got 800 800 plus videos on there a uh, lot of mathematics man a lot of mathematics very very important uh, the video i did this morning is 
a short video I'm going to be putting out. I'm going to try to edit today or tomorrow, putting out in the next couple of days about the importance of mathematics specifically and uh, addressing two questions that I usually get asked uh, or comments made where people say, where, do you, where am I going to use this in the real world? Or why is math important, right? So I'm just taking the data set that we looked at for coronavirus, COVID-19, right? And I just took another little segment and focus on that segment and using that to get the idea across that mathematics is ridiculously important. If you don't know your math, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm spy. Uh, spiraling right now about the coronavirus in new york city yeah sleepy waves i saw your post man you were really concerned about it off the get-go right it's crazy the kicker is if it gets hold in the united states and i think it has already the u.s infrastructure for health is horrendous right basically people have to go into bankruptcy if like many people will have to be have to go into bankruptcy if they get hit with the coronavirus if they're going to be taken out for six weeks and they're going to need to be hospitalized or health care or whatever it is right that's the kicker right pretty dangerous because most people will try to ride it out right if they get hit and if it's starting to get worse if they don't have the funds they're not going to go there right because okay right now it's three and a half percent fatality rate right roll the dice good to see you and make a stream and very eye-opening man yeah very eye put and the book uh uh padre is talking about is this one this is a must read days of destruction days of revolt okay it's a book by joe sacco and martin thank you very much for taking care of business joe sacco and uh, chris hedges chris hedges wrote did the text and joe sacco tells the stories of of everyday people in the united states from sacrifice zones and get to know that word because that is a word that implies a lot sacrifice zones and what it refers to is areas that are being sacrificed for centralized power to acquire more power right so and these are the pages of joe sacco's work which is brilliant which is fantastic very emotional book very important book if you're not reading or haven't read days of destruction days of revolt and you want to know what's going on politically economically in the western world what are you doing this should be 101 class 101 if you want to know what's going on politically in the western world this is your first first thing you need to do is read this book right once you read this everything else becomes a little bit more clear okay and it's an important book because like for me i took a lot of notes a lot of a uh, lot of like i even mocked up some of the pages of the the artwork right because i wanted to remind myself you know sometimes i flip through this thing and go okay what did i highlight right it's cool very important book right so like a fair bit it's sort of in pink so some of the pens i changed colors right important book read it you're taking poli sci at university and you haven't read this book yet drop out read this book analyze it and then get into political science sociology philosophy whatever you want right supplement your education wherever you are with books that are not part of the reading list right the city isn't saying anything either they aren't telling people what's really going on yeah most a lot of places aren't sleepy waves when is the next time you're going to stream a math tutoring video uh money man i was planning on doing it this weekend but i got caught up next weekend okay i know spring break's coming up and a lot of people have exams the week of spring break so next weekend 
we'll do a math stream. I just couldn't get one in this uh, this week. I planned on it, but uh, Coolio uh, requested a philosophy stream. So it was going to be current events and mathematics tomorrow, but I switched up the mathematics with philosophy. Yeah. He was annoying me. It was he? Okay, good morning. Yeah. I was just skipping over the comments, right? <laughs> Why do people call it SARS COVID 2 and some call it COVID? The official name is COVID 19. The people who are calling calling it SARS COVID 2 are they're trying to link it up with the SARS, which is, I guess, legit to do, but the official name is COVID 19. It was coronavirus, Wuhan coronavirus, and then now it's officially COVID-19. So I think it's, it's better to call it, refer to it as COVID-19 if that's going to be the official name, right? It's like someone wanting to be called something and you call them something else. Might as well call it that thing. That way everyone knows uh, what everybody's talking about. Think of how many people won't get tested or hospitalized or what not due to money concerns. Yeah, they should be learning from South Korea. Yeah, mask of everyone. I agree 100%. So in the United States, it's problematic right now. Coolio. Oh, Chicho, by the way, I figured out where I'm moving a year for, uh, from this. That was quick. Albania. Wow. I'm so excited. And I've been doing lots of research and even have made a Facebook friend with a guy who moved from the U.S. to Albania two years ago and is around my age. He has a YouTube channel, too, that I highly recommend. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'll link his YouTube channel uh, in... Uh, in our discord page we'll check it out albania any affirming words she should try not to stop uh, my life because of this um you can't stop your life look the, the assuring words could be uh here let me tell you what i think is is happening right now right it could possibly uh, i'm getting whispers from him i don't know martin I, I jumped the comments the guy was making so i really wasn't sure what he was saying uh, you could do whatever you want with it brother um i'm easy either way okay i'm easy either way up to you brother uh covid19 is the disease sars vo 2 is the virus is it okay though because the city can't even provide sanitary wipes for people no one is wearing a mask gloves hey chicho how are you doing james devinson how are you doing yeah sleepy waves here's the thing right regarding covid19 certain places could be everyone could be not could be select few certain centralized places are going to let it play go through the population they're going to let it play out right first of all because a lot of them assume some people will say rightfully so not rightfully so but you can pretty much assume that it's already well rooted in a lot of countries right so how do you how do you get pissed out of pool right that's the same goal as whatever it is right once it's in the pool you gotta it's gonna go through right so i think a lot of countries are gonna let it play out um so don't be don't go into panic mode don't be very much afraid right be cautious be aware again we mentioned this a couple of weeks ago when we started this whole thing or longer a month ago now or something get, you know prepare yourself get some supplies get you know get some chicken bone soup like get some chicken bones and put them in your freezer right if you need to make yourself chicken broth that you can drink for like three four days right um, make sure you have some kind of network set up that uh, you can stay in touch with people get your time miles or whatever you need to reduce fever um, make sure your finances are in order don't overextend yourself right now uh, because the economy could possibly do a serious flip-flop right um, get tp we mentioned get get some non-perishables get your rice get your beans and and that's only for people who are in a central core area new york could be very problematic it could be very problematic uh, so don't but don't go into panic mode it's not a 
because this thing may not be over this year it could be a seasonal thing that comes through right so this could be this the next version of the flu that's gonna that's gonna go through society every year right causes okay sars cov cov2 virus causes covid 19 the disease so it's hiv and aids same equivalent right i didn't know that thanks mask of raven anuj how are you doing what's up doing good brother thank you very much i'm doing lots of reading in medieval uh, philosophies and middle ages political speeches it's amazing how much we continue to repeat ourselves as humans yeah it's crazy always be making like everything is a cycle in huge part like why aren't we learning from our mistakes alert not anxious alert not anxious mask of raven thank you very much be alert not anxious right fear is the mind killer right it's just unfortunate people are panic shopping and clearing store shelves for people who really need stuff yeah coolio look the education system in i'm pretty sure this might be happening in different places but there's a community setting in many places in the world there's a f sense of community right in hardcore completely 100 percent capitalistic societies where finances financialization governs everything the sense of community has been decimated right so people are very individualistic in large part and if they do have a community everybody doesn't live around each other everybody's scattered you got to drive half an hour 20 minutes this way an hour that way and stuff like this right so people are sort of panicking because they don't have that secure communal network that they can depend on right which is something we've talked about regarding personal finance and where you should invest in how many times have we mentioned that that we shouldn't be really investing our extra funds in wall street stocks and all this crap right F following the carrot we should be putting that into ourselves into food security into our communities because when the poop really hits the fan those don't matter what matters is what you have around you right the connections you've built the food security you have the clean water you have the healthcare system you've established the education networks you've set up right that's what really matters that's sustainability right that's true essence of investing right when you become completely anti-fragile right you can't be broken down that fast okay what we're seeing right now those places where there's riots and people are beating the crap out of each other for toilet paper and stuff like this first of all you're seeing a population which has been completely programmed brainwashed the second thing you're seeing is decimation of community right and that goes towards controlling their finances keeping people impoverished brutal policing like it's so vast like just tentacles everywhere right also all the events that are being canceled the flu season this year has been far worse than COVID-19 but people are panicking because COVID is an unknown entity coolio it's unknown but according to the data we've looked at it's way more contagious okay its fatality rate is higher percentage wise than the flu it's spreading like mad right for sure unknown origin so people don't know its mutation abilities so people have a right to be more concerned about covid 19 than the flu there there's no there's no denying that right there's no denying it right especially if you realize when you find out that oh the flu is only contagious for like three days three or four days covid 19 can be contagious without asymptomatic without showing any signs for a month before the initial people start showing a sign and then you could be taken out for six weeks to two months this isn't 
the comparison between COVID-19 and the flu is not just, not just. Maybe at the beginning it was, right? Now, now that we have the data, no, it's not justifiable anymore. So do you think things could get out of hand? I think things are going to get worse. New flu uh, going around. Better go buy two years worth of toilet paper and spectral shot. <laughs> Use them as mattresses, right? Get rid of your bed, sleep on toilet paper. Investing as gold is not a bad idea, though. Anuj, I don't know. Possibly. Uh, but I think what's what would be important would be to have a little bit of cash on hand. Cash is king. In times like this, cash is king. Okay, so it'd be important to have a little bit of cash with you, on you, right? Just in case power goes out. What if you have all your money in the bank? You have no cash to do any shopping. Now I'm not promoting bank runs, but go get a little money out of the bank so at least you can buy food or something for the next week or two weeks right like i've seen people just use their debit cards for every, like two dollar candy bar debit card i'm looking at them going what are you crazy like debit card two dollar candy bar what parking meters everything right i don't get it right people are all oh, money is dirty money man the same people grab handlebars and in malls and dry their hands right uh, there's a little bit of programming going on there cash is king many pubs in my area have put up uh, wash your hands all over uh, their toilets everyone is washing their hands now good that's a great thing right i remember almost a decade ago i watched a tv show called Sur <laughs> yeah, survival <laughs> People shouldn't need a worldwide pandemic to be motivated to wash their hands. But I suppose that it's a good thing more people are now. Yeah. What gives gold its value? Uh, scarcity in large part, difficulty extracting it. Um, its properties, it's non-magnetic, very conductive. Um, scarcity is the main thing. Can't put a price on love and community and real relationships. Yeah. 2000 is survivor with Jew julie graham i don't know them i watched the first ever survivor when it came out in the 90s the first ever survivor i watched the whole thing and then the second season started i watched like one episode i said nope i'm not into it got one hit of it enough right i watched a show a while back uh surviving disaster which had an episode uh, on pandemic where they said that whether a pandemic event happens in my lifetime, it's a matter of if, but, but yeah. I mean, gold is always helpful when you are low on cash. Uh, Anuj, uh, for sure, agreed. But don't put all your money in gold when you got no cash. You, like people are silly enough to do that. Oh, this is great, put everything in there. It's like, oh, no, no. You divest within a system and you divest in multiple systems right good point and laugh out loud to the year old <laughs> are china rates still down uh, yeah there china is basically at zero percent growth right now for COVID 19 confirmed cases do we believe that i don't know maybe maybe this thing burns itself out and go, in maybe in two weeks all of a sudden we see cases completely die out everywhere that is present that would be fantastic, right? Yeah. How's it going, Chicho? Mick Silva, how are you doing? I find it amusing. Everyone is going out a mass purchasing items. I logically prepped for the worst scenario last month. Filled my garbage full of food, uh, garage full of food, water, medical aids. Yeah, we talked about this uh, Mick month, month and a half ago, right? Saying, oh, it's good to get a toilet paper and your vitamin C's and you know get the stuff right um yeah like it's just it goes back the problem is it oh, like for me everything goes back to our education system people in the western world in my part of the world anyway they have been 
programmed to be passive consumers of information they want information fed to them like a child right here's a spoon here swallow swallow you hit them and then they swallow it down which is insane to me right they're not active consumers of information they don't question where the information is coming from who's doing the funding who's saying it they don't they don't even question when they turn the channel or they go to different sites and everybody's saying the same thing it's like wait a second they're using the same terminology different channel why am i watching this programming right people have become passive consumers of information um when is it going to change maybe maybe things like this will change people into becoming more active consumers of information this virus reminds me of 12 monkeys yeah i started thinking about that too martin i have been looking for crazy people from the future especially in london if it doesn't get that bad then at least i prep just in case yeah and you're not gonna your toilet paper buy you don't want to buy your supply like seriously you got to share as well right uh but toilet paper is not going to go bad right salt is not going to go bad right i'm guilty of being debit card uh rely yeah coolio don't do it i've seen so many people man not a good idea coronavirus is just 100 kilometers away from me i live in i go to city vancouver it's right there <laughs> what are your thoughts on the coronavirus Oh, Bolton Beck. I got a whole playlist on our YouTube channel that we've put together now on the coronavirus, looking at the mathematics of the coronavirus. Here, go to my YouTube channel. Here's my YouTube channel. The last video we put out, last two, last three videos we put out were coronavirus, a live stream segment. We pulled out of the live stream and discussion regarding coronavirus, like mathematics, doing ASMR math, like talking about the mathematics of it we're charting the stuff uh, we talked a lot about it what are reality shows called reality shows when they are the opposite of reality <laughs> scripted scripted shows hey man i may be a little drunk so i may fade out okay booker no worries if you're uh, if you're having a good time enjoying yourself enjoy hang out and why do we drive on um parkways and park and driveways <laughs> tom's turvy tell you yeah gold is still a speculative investment chicho um legendary rob boss how were you doing i started watching hunters on amazon but then i kept getting their annoying pre-roll ads on twitch so i stopped watching a nice advertising campaign on amazon is it hunters on amazon just turn it on and then walk away for a couple of minutes and come back was uh it got canceled what in your opinion should a city like new york city do to help the families who work pay uh check to paycheck who need uh to quarantine what should they do man first thing you would need to do is hire thousands of nurses right and medical practitioners make sure they're all paid for so anybody that's sick isn't uh, isn't worried about getting a bill that's gonna make them homeless right so first thing this any city should do is say we've set up all these facilities with all these medical uh, practitioners to test people to provide health care to people for free okay if you think you might be sick come and get tested and whatnot right you don't want to have a mass panic like you don't want to have mass herds of people coming in so the sooner they do that the better that way when it, when people are feeling sick they just come and get tested uh, get their supplies maybe aspirin have a chicken booth uh, chicken broth place feeding people just m explain to them that the the safety net is there and they're taking responsibility for it right to make sure the city doesn't die because of this or they don't become homeless because of this right that would be the first thing i'd do you guys in canada seeing the night as young night as, the light coming on earlier yeah it's awesome i'm i've been getting up at like five o'clock in the morning basically 4 30 5 o'clock 5 30 in the morning 
for the last few months and it's really nice getting up and now seeing the light coming up right it's awesome i know that in short range you need a shotgun in medium range or right on in long range with a good scope sniper never use a three shell she, she, she three she she shells she shells i don't know what that is i need to pop to the bank martin cash is king like for rent oh for rent if it gets that bad the city needs to flip the bill for the rent give give what people are, you know what has been said which is the universal basic income so this might be a trigger to bring ubi in right because people need to pay rent so they may need to kick into gear a certain kind of ubi for short term to see what happens right some say it will go away in summer let's see let's see yeah corona and it might be a cyclic thing if it does then it's a cyclic thing most likely uh corona started in china because their banks have most and <laughs> me too i got a jar and um in the hidden corner of my room that's good to store cash in and when i don't want to carry around large mass cool demolition man right then you feel it twitch prime quato tom kek toto com kek thank you very much for the twitch prime sub and for those of you who've been following subbing thank you very much for the subs and follows love the swear machine what a great paper start an online business in whatever way they can those people are gonna make a killing while everyone is cooped up in their houses they need medical for all and a living wage basically basically mask of a raven one indian techie came from italy and made ev everyone in his workplace sick oh, it could be an anonymous gifted martin uh tier one sub thank you very much for the tier one sub for martin <laughs> right on <laughs> total 31 31 people got sick see that tells you the covid 19 is a lot more contagious than the regular flu thank you anonymous gifter speaking of ubi andrew yang uh just started the new nonprofit geared towards some of his goals when he was running yeah i saw that coolio right well anonymous gifted anuj a tier one sub thank you very much for the tier one sub for anonymous for anuj uh and thank you to anonymous maybe his first step towards agenda 21 could be very much could be first step towards agenda 21 right and the andrew yang what he was pushing the ubi uh, no. but andrew yang is all for bring you know extraditing assange to the united states and putting him on trial in an interview he said yeah he go get assange right he should pay for his crimes right there andrew yang is garbage off my books get away from me you he's pushing the corporate centralized agenda no definitely not i have been watching since you posted your primary enemy is good to uh, still see you nice <laughs> awesome the first propaganda video that was, when did we do that 2012 or something i can't remember i missed the pomegranate season this year i got hit with the flu not COVID. i got hit with the flu and it took me out up to up to six weeks and i missed the prime when they have pomegranates available for better price i missed it crap <laughs> i guess i gotta hit the pomegranate liqueur that we still have some now hi chicho reno mike how are you doing yeah has canada researched the viruses stolen uh, by the chinese from your country in july and tried making an antivirus i don't know salty blood i'm not 100 percent sure um i know that came up it was a variant of it or something like this don't know that one that hit the news cycle and went hush hush same with the one in the u.s which went hush hush right that could go down if you go down the rabbit hole on that it, the indication of that might have been something else like they were implying it was just for steady but maybe it wasn't maybe maybe china was trying to get a hold of them because the west was 
doing funny things with the viruses maybe we don't know it hit the news cycle and we're done right when we have an anonymous robin hood in here we do oh anonymous reno mike well, that's sub as well thank you very much anonymous yeah i work in a place with thousands of other employees in the pacific northwest and i don't think we are taking this situation seriously enough. no um from what i understand microsoft amazon and apple in seattle told all their employees to stay home and work from home right so there are things happening in the background okay uh, agenda 21 and global goals are the same reference yeah they aren't even closing the mta the public transportation here in new york city they can't close at sleepy waves it's impossible like they just don't give a uh, they're uh, gonna let poor people die sleepy waves just imagine if new york closes the thing you're gonna have mass panic everywhere right they can't do it right now they've they've backed themselves into a horrendous corner horrendous corner right We'll see what they do, but I have zero faith in the centralized system to be able to do the right thing right now, right? Right now, right now, they should come out and say, we're providing free medical for everyone in the United States for them to, to, and we're going to, there's no, and they should come out and say, there's no rush. We're going to do this for an extended period of time, at least until the end of this year, really, until the beginning of next flu season starts for people to be taken care of because we give a rat's ass about our citizens right that's what they should do they change the name at least if sars cov 2 becomes cyclic we'll have a vaccine soonish possibly but it is mutating from what i understand fast what do you call this genocide mm, no, i know sleepy waves uh, incompetence okay dante how are you doing that's what i would call it sleepy waves incompetence just because wall street wants to continue protecting profits yeah that's one and the supply chain sleep away it's not just wall street it's us citizens we put our faith in the centralized system to keep the supply chain going so we gave up our food security our water security our social network our communities for the dreams of a chase and a carrot for profits because wall street was dangling in front of people right we can't put all the blame on the bankers we have to be responsible consumers of or human beings responsible for our own lives as a society we chose this to a certain degree not us individually but as a collective for a number of decades right now we have to change that right this could be an amazing catalyst to begin the process of building communities having localized food making sure our water supply is not contaminated making sure when the giant corporations come in to destroy the environment we say hell no right so in in large part we say hey what does this do to us you can deal make a deal with them those large corporations that need your resources in a community right you can make a deal with them but hold them accountable right hold power accountable okay this is going to be a long game sleepy waves yeah that's when i stopped rooting for yang too his economic ideas are still sound though and as good uh, good he brought them to the discussion but yeah his assange views are poisoned by cnn who he now works that he never worked for cnn damn oh another anonymous gift zeno zeno gear thank you very much for subbing Z zeno gear uh, a sub I heard Canada has already made vaccines. I doubt it. I haven't heard anything. And I know people in the medical system. No, nothing's come out that I know of. Anonymous gifter, please show yourself. No, if they want to stay anonymous, they're allowed to stay anonymous, Martin. Uh, this isn't about uh, the recognition in large part, but about supporting uh, our discussion and our work and, and stuff here. I'm okay with, with anonymous anonymous anonymity is one of the keys that we have to protect online right iran came out and right right accused the us of creating the coronavirus to a certain degree and iran just came out one of the health ministers i think came out and said within two weeks they expect 40 percent of tehran to be infected that number to me was insane i only have one source saying this 
like one place I, th I think i saw it on zero head saying this so i was like wait a second I, I saw it this morning so i didn't have time to dig down if this person came out and said that it it's already it's huge they could also be playing a game trying to get the sanctions lifted as well right so there's political play as well there, there's so much going on right so we may honor your true name <laughs> great to finally catch a stream live again i've been watching the youtube stream uploads regularly though awesome thanks michael for popping by michael dula they're fun live eh <laughs> uh iran health minister was, was like don't panic it's under control but he himself got yeah that anuj when he was the iran health minister wiping his brow and sweating that was like from uh an apocalyptic movie right it's like from uh, resident evil or something like it was like what is, what is this how do you feel your own country is handling COVID-19 show horrendous horrendous Krulia. I know that there are people who are should be there they okay I can't I can't really say it but we know uh, that there are samples being sent to where they're testing the samples to to say that people you know test for COVID-19 and the samples are being sent from high-risk people and the centralized place where they're being where they're doing the testing is saying they they're not going to test them because they don't fit the criteria right Canada is not handling it well the only reason Canada we're not seeing it in the same state as the United States because United States is going faster is one population density for sure but also there's a sort of security of healthcare here where if you go to a hospital you'll be treated right not going to happen Trump too busy talking about himself yeah I'm not mutating as uh, it's not mutating as quickly as the yearly influenza it's not Dante cool welcome Chichoyan to the live stream welcome Chichoyan. <laughs> on a slightly more positive note because of all the uh, factories China has shut down temporarily due to COVID fears their population levels uh, pollution levels dropped tremendously the last couple of months cool and one of the things that might happen is people might start enjoying this fresh air so they might say hey listen we don't want to go back to that industrial state of being right the only reason the flu comes back every year is because it mutates so quickly is that what it is dante but when most humans and if this thing starts going in the same direction with COVID 19 hopefully it'll mutate itself out of existence right but when most humans are not then how do we change that we can only change ourselves but when, i'm not sure what that refers to very shame not to mention we vote with where we spend our money yeah big time we vote with where we spend our money supporting places right so 100 percent. that's one thing uh, thanks for bringing that up by the way uh gauging gadget one of the things that was really hard to include in to start including into my life was and it started just like 20 years ago to i don't know how long ago right i started thinking about where i was spending my money and once i started doing that i basically stopped buying certain things and stopped going to certain places because i realized my money was using was being used by these corporations against me right taking my freedoms away right so it was crazy well wow, i'm gonna scroll down to the bottom gang i'm missing a lot of uh hey spider-man how are you doing hey chicho i'm just popping by really quick i hope everything's going well. it's going fantastic spider-man thank you very much uh we have an anonymous donor anonymous persons donating a lot of tier one cells which is fantastic uh notification was went out i think after five minutes or ten minutes or something so that was good <laughs> hope you're having an amazing day thanks for everything you do for us oh, my pleasure brother thank you for being here man thank you i'm going to scroll down to the bottom gang first time watching this is the most relaxing COVID talk ever awesome good stuff 
because um, I missed a lot of chat so I'm gonna scroll down if there's anything directed towards me please let me know and I'll read it um, uh, just post it again uh, but I just want to stay up to date with the discussion is he talking to the twitch chat oh crack my back I can't wait for mid spring to pick up uh, stinging nettle oh yeah spring nettle is amazing and make soup with it soup with it we make tea with it have you had it made it before chicho we take stinging nettle we make the sting nettle tea for sure amazing really good cleanser for the i believe liver or kidney one of the two or both of them maybe uh, i don't know how to explain the taste but it tastes expensive really i've never had the soup i have tea with it no no high for me cool yeah. feels bad man dante how can uh, you be sure you don't have it uh, heading out now hope you all have a great stream okay spider-man thanks for popping in brother have a great day that iran health minister stuff was like a movie like it's script or yeah i know it was it was weird very weird as well as the who uh who um what do you call it uh, the live streams they do the updates is weird very scripted ish albania has food recipes that involve stinging nettle boiling it removes the inflammatory parts of it cool gauging gadgets you can never be sure um, but if you have no symptoms you're likely negative and you shouldn't get a mask because there are only so many going around and they are needed in hospitals yeah uh, for me i'm not wearing a mask like i'm going out and I'm, I'm you know i'm traveling from one city to another city with ferry as well i'm not wearing a mask right it's not in that state for me anyway where i am even though we're considered a hot spot right now vancouver will be anyway okay uh, i need to pop downstairs see how it's going martin off uh, go check on business man go check people out hopefully they're not running amok and grab yourself a cider <laughs> get tested in theory it's why south korea has driven through testing locations drive through testing locations awesome south korea so someone here is getting showing symptoms yeah it depends where you are if you're in a hot spot you should probably get tested if you're in a small town and nobody else and you haven't traveled and then i don't think testing would be that necessary unless it gets a little bit worse right easier said than done in the u.s yeah from what i heard it costs like uh, three thousand dollars in the u.s to get tested right or for you true man i don't think it's at the point where a mask is need needed though what's up to johanna how are you doing slightly off topic but can you recommend a philosophy book not uh, familiar with the discussion culture here and if off topic is okay a philosophy book well, coolio probably has specific book recommendations uh like here this for me this is a philosophy book okay fern seeds and elephants it's essays by c.s lewis by this person here for me c.s lewis was a philosopher right so this book is fantastic uh, here this to me is a philosophy book um, between heaven and hell by peter kreef and it was sort of a made-up discussion between john f kennedy c.s lewis and aldous Hulls, aldous aldous huxley in heaven right or purg no sorry purgatory okay so jf kennedy c.s lewis and aldous huxley are sitting in purgatory and this is a made-up conversation that would have together so anything that makes you think about the 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 being of like our societies the state of being who you are what you think life is about uh, anything that makes you think is philosophy to me okay uh, yeah there's there's lots of books should we be eating vegetarian or meat is also okay i think it's okay consume as little meat as possible not too much right but 
veggies was amazing greens just fresh greens herbs i hope no chichoyans get the virus we need well informed people <laughs> yeah i hope not i hope not gang well the sting actually only comes uh from lightly brushing the nettles if you grab and pinch the nettles it crushes the sting the stinging cells instantly really take some practice though yeah i would, wouldn't do it personally does canada have universal health care how is the quality of the care how long or average um, does it take to get an appointment are there private options uh, canada does have universal health care uh, the system is overloaded because of funding cutbacks for a number of years the conservative regime harper regime uh, was responsible to a certain degree but healthcare is more provincial in canada so there's a little bit of subsidy stuff happening but it's mainly provincial so the provinces are responsible for it how long is it? sometimes it takes a long time to get very complicated procedures private doctors are hard to come by in certain parts of canada um are there private options there are private options um but if you go into the hospital into an emergency you will be taken care of and it will cost you nothing if you're a canadian citizen in bc anyway we studied a bit of a huxley in high school don't remember what he said because it was so long ago just remember his name him and emerson uh new world um oh god what's his name i forget what's the name of his first book uh first book or the was that his first book or um was it his most famous book um 1994 was orwell or new brave new world <laughs> thank you dante jeebus i actually wanted to stream for more book recommendations uh -huh. i know philosophers more than their books i really like uh, carl jung i've read a little bit nietzsche i've read a little bit Camos, I haven't read very much. I know we mostly do. Quality is pretty great in general. Wait times vary enormously. Private options exist, but tend to be supplemental. Yeah, you can also go to the states, I guess. Yeah, I feel like uh, when I buy food from the supermarket, like fresh produce, now I've got to uh, be cautious too. You, you should be washing your fresh fruits and vegetables for sure like that's 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 another thing a lot of people eat the stuff without washing them you should be washing them right my pleasure the first book you showed for philosophy the first book i showed was uh, c.s lewis fern seed and elephants it's a collection of essays i forget how many essays okay it was uh, i read this in high school and i've read it after this too uh so he had how many how many things how many essay Mem uh, one two three four five six seven eight different essays um, and his essay titles were membership learning in wartime on forgiveness historicism the world's last night religion and rocketry the efficiency of prayer fern seed and elephants right and c.s lewis uh, he was you know he had a christian slant to his writing Sat, 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 satir, satir, is that how you pronounce it? Nietzsche, Kant, yeah, Locke, Hume, cool. C.S. Lewis, one, thank you. Uh, could talk about the healthcare, it's so deep and um, on a point, yeah. Good ones by Huxley, Brave New World, revisit a C.S. Lewis, screw tape letters. Screw tape letters is a fantastic read. I read this a couple of times. This is a great read okay uh interesting v beautiful book right it's about a devil uh, it's about a demon that's responsible for corrupting this individual and he has to report back to the higher demons of how the progress is going it's a good book <laughs> I also get a lot of philosophy from movies yeah for sure games and tv shows that have philosophical themes uh, anime has amazing philosophical themes in it right the good place show is a good one as well as the talso principle game which i mentioned in discord yeah gaming talso i haven't i haven't played it i don't know too much about it i read the a little bit of the wiki on it 
there are loads of anime with philosophical themes as well which is partly why i got so into anime in the la last few years. yeah coolio for sure what do you think about the 5g have you read the side effects of it uh yeah i know a little bit about it. i'm not a, i'm not a fan of 5g but there's no doubt about it all the Suxley's brothers brother was member of council for foreign, foreign relations really got beard how are you doing um, spot of tea uh, what was that devil book called sorry I was in the bar it's screw uh, this one the screw screw tape letters <laughs> Martin you might get a kick out of this <laughs> screw tape letters by c.s lewis okay wait are the 5g things real could be we don't know not enough research has been done into it i've read through the emails uh they sent me and it's possible the uh suspension was only seven days oh awesome gabby it'd, it'd be awesome if you're back as as uh, uh spot of tea yeah that, i found that crazy uh, you you by the way if you feel comfortable you shall tell you should tell chat what you told me regarding what was the reason you were suspended okay because it really links up into privacy anonymity technology control like that was crazy right okay how do you feel about aaron Musk's project like uh, Neuralink and starlink I'm not in the cult of uh, Elon or anything, but I do think he's the Nikola Tesla or Steve Jobs of our age. First of all, I hope he's not the Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was a. F I'll, I'll quote, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Stallman, Richard Stallman. I don't wish ill on anyone, really. I don't wish on ill on anyone, but the world is a better place since steve jobs left it okay steve jobs was a not he was he was horrendous for the development of technology uh human rights uh propagation of information uh letting letting innovation take over steve jobs was horrendous okay so nikola tesla uh, nikola, uh, what do you call it aaron musk is not steve jobs and aaron musk is definitely not nikola tesla okay musk is not tesla <laughs> okay not by a long shot okay so is he somewhere in between yeah he's somewhere in between okay that's my take on it okay but and i and this is coming from someone who's watched a lot of musk lectures years ago when he was coming on the stage i watched i like some of the stuff and I, he said some stuff which is like dude I have a sick sense of humor martin you'll love it screw tape letters it's not really sick it's it's beautiful it it really it's it's really cool uh, so spot of tea maybe back month yes spot of tea one spot of tea. does vancouver have 5g yet they're rolling it out i have, i have five five g here supposedly right i'd like to at some point i'll deal with it for now but i would personally like to get away from the 5g right did you see ellen i've never seen him live no i would just watch the videos and stuff hello my friend <laughs> nice no oh, i'm losing the where did we go did we ah oh, this thing the chat popped me up all the way to the top i gotta scroll down uh did you see aaron tweet about code yeah and i commented on his tweet <laughs> should i read you my comment this is what i commented on his tweet <laughs> this was and i don't usually do this if you guys have been following me on twitter i'm usually just i post stuff uh my own stuff i announce uh announce you know when i'm doing the streams and i let people know when i'm uploading you know what i've uploaded right but this was um, this is what uh, musk said right musk said what did he say he said covid19 is dumb or something like this right and this was my reply okay musk whatever you say 
the multi-billionaire that doesn't need to take public transportation or go grocery shopping and has private nurses and doctors at his call telling the peasants not to worry damn right here i'll give you the <laughs> okay this is our first tweet share right <laughs> this is this is what i replied right so i wanted to read that because you you asked me if i uh, what do you call it if i saw it so what's up mr did the I was wondering what happened to you. Okay, spot of tea back would be great. What kind of performance are you getting a 5G? Uh, tough mod. Uh, I had to go to this to be able to live stream. I sacrificed. I sacrificed my health for you guys, man. <laughs> I often get um, week-long bans from Twitter for discussing politics and my own personal views which aren't anywhere close to being extreme at all but these days you can't discuss anything without someone talk, taking offense yeah mick that's why i'm on other platforms now i'm on vk i'm on elo i'm on gab i'm on minds and i'm on twitter and i treat and i whatever i post on twitter if it's my personal stuff announcing things and stuff like this they go on all five okay the only thing that stays on twitter if i'm doing random comments like this or i retweet something with a comment on it right those are the only ones that stay on twitter but i'm on all five because i'm gonna diversify decentralize myself right if these central central social networks are censoring people i'm gonna do whatever i can to make sure my voice doesn't get censored so i deplatform, decentralize myself i highly recommend everyone do this right that way you're not dependent on them right really like i right now i'm into before basically almost all the videos i used to watch were on youtube they're not anymore right now about 30 percent of the videos that i watch because those users are also bitshoot i'm watching on bitshoot so youtube has lost 30 percent of my video consumption because they're censoring and that's going to continue as soon as more people start going on bitshoot i'm going to start watching more and more on bitshoot because it's less censored like for example youtube doesn't like it when we load on the COVID 19 videos right like the last video we loaded on it was straight out asmr math video we're doing mathematics learning about mathematics and youtube demonetizes that stuff right like we're putting out math videos and youtube is demonetizing them right that's deplatforming to a certain degree what do you call it taking out the revenue stream for a content creator right that's hurting the bottom line so we diversify right <laughs> period right like people used to say oh, i should be live streaming on youtube but i don't want to be on doing put all my eggs in one basket right very important i love this platform twitch right build it up from the base right when i started 30 i had 30 000 subscribers around youtube i could have been live streaming there with 30, i built up from the base up on twitch right because it is very important to decentralize so i'll say this again if any platform that you're on is censoring information censoring free speech make sure you decentralize if it's even if it's hard to do even if it takes a lot of time to do even if it costs you money to do even if you're sacrificing growth in the other platform do it it's you're playing the long game not the short game right and you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket this is just personal finance investing 101 decentralize yourself become anti-fragile you bring the tea and i will supply the cookies mm. i need cookies oh yeah my snacks i got little mandarins and nice seedy bread delicious delicious i really don't like aaron musk something really off about him he's a billionaire that's what's off about him. <laughs> he's outside of humanness i don't think so i don't think it's because he has lots of money 
uh, he he's 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 a he's deals with anyway he's, he's done good it's okay okay so on monday night i was on the internet oh it's okay gabir is sharing this now check this out okay i'm gonna read this i'm gonna scroll down a little bit okay i've missed a lot of chat but i'm gonna read this because this was important okay and uh gabir is one of our mods spot of t and he reached out saying oh he got kicked off twitch and he couldn't be a mod if i could mod him and i was like what what's going on and this is this is what he shared right okay so on monday night i was on the internet looking at some dumb non-twitch tos stuff while obs was open and running and because it's it's a link to my twitch account spot of t15 the twitch algorithm must have picked picked it up and my account got suspended so even though spot of t was not streaming on twitch interacting on twitch uh, through obs the ops was on so twitch algorithm amazon's algorithm monitored the algorithms were monitoring what spot of t the beard was doing and whatever he did all of a sudden red flags hit and he got suspended for a week right wow crazy eh? yeah i guess jobs did have a lot of cons about uh, uh after all also i love it uh alan but he really should have a filter on twitter sometimes yeah sounds good to me ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, the must fanboys must be really upset with you <laughs> maybe <laughs> what are you? i i like I, I don't mind musk right like jobs no Ugh. right uh gates yikes right musk not bad like it, whatever he hasn't like if he comes out and says yeah we should persecute crucify julian assange he goes into my jobs category right what is going on here i want to join come on in ray ray how are you doing bloomberg could have given million dollars to every america a million <laughs> they don't know their math right 1.5 million for the announcers there right at least i don't think he spent that much but maybe like a thousand to each one no he spent way more like literally if we believe him anyway they're perpetual liars right uh, my little decentralized little <laughs> that was hilarious from Emerson. probably the funniest idiotic thing i've seen so far this year <laughs> yeah. crazy crazy more like that and then and then they had uh i read an, a retweet of it and someone that's in the education system in the united states did the math and it came out to like 1.5 million or something like this and at the bottom they, they said common core math for the win now i'm i don't know if they were trying to be sarcastic or they were trying to say common core math if you just do simple math you will get the answer but those one of those announcers the the girl she was a product of common core math i'm pretty sure she was fairly young so that wasn't common core math for the win unless you put slash sarcasm that's just math for the win common core was that <laughs> right but i'm not going to get involved in discussions on twitter with just it's a lot of noise right uh, bad energy facebook owns youtube right no google owns youtube perps alphabet inc owns google and youtube so look up alphabet alphabet inc on the stock market you'll find it we talk about anything here but we are pro julian yeah google owns youtube Pop, pop, pop. okay i'm gonna scroll down guys thank you for the bits uh gang thank you for the bits hannah and again thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the donating the subs um apologies if i'm not catching at all okay i'm gonna scroll down because i missed a lot of chat so uh, we go all the way down again <coughs> give me a chance to pop a mandarin what are you guys eating 
and check out the city brand all right it's got lots of nice seeds in there most popular channels on YouTube are far right bigots who got banned from YouTube oh really on BitChute of course there are also regular people on there yeah and Dante what's gonna happen is YouTube censors are like oh man oh I can't show you this pic like here's how ridiculous <clears throat> YouTube's algorithms are okay as a as a content creator when people post comments on my videos you can go to the comments section and there's three sections in the comments section right one of them is the comments right another one is the spam okay and I've had to go into spam and approve <laughs> I just took off me. I choked on the orange, right? I had to go into the spam a few times to approve comments if I can catch them, right? Because YouTube's algorithm zaps certain things as spam, and some things aren't. Some things are for sure, but some things aren't. And then there's a middle section called held for review. Messages held for review. So far, twice I've had to go all of a sudden I've never saw any comments there before or maybe I've seen one or two pop up in the last few months right all of a sudden I noticed that there were dozens of comments that were held for review I was like what so I went in there and YouTube's algorithm had taken comments that have been posted like years ago some of them I think and put it into held for review and I read some of them like why in the world does YouTube's algorithm hold these things for review so I had to mass approve like dozens upon dozens of comments if I remember correctly right for them to be go back on the channel right so the censorship on YouTube is huge it's not just a far right and stuff like content creators like me have been getting hit by these algorithms this automation the censorship right videos uh, they pulled one video and I had to disputed and they reinstated it they're demonetized I don't know how many videos right so they're doing everything they can to Disneyfy YouTube slowly what's gonna happen is there's gonna be creators going on to bit shoot so right now maybe we're getting a wave of people initial that have come on there that were let's call them whatever views they have but more is gonna come they have to free free speech matters right where are we no i missed a lot of maybe want to wait till next week to see if i get uh, is, uh everyone panic chicho look into jeffrey espin and aaron musk and that tweet he made about uh talk uh, taking his company to private it's all connected oh really musk is connected with epstein hey, i hope not do you maybe want to wait till next week to see if i get spot of uh, spot back before uh m modding this account uh, do you want to do that uh, gabir it's up to you i'm okay with waiting i'd rather have spot back i'm used to spot of tea right if you're if you want that one if you want this one we can do this one the rockets uh, wait I think that happened to one of my uh, from an old video on YouTube did it Martin yeah like YouTube senses are crazy right I had to contact people let them know that their comments were being put into the spam folder and I just found it right okay I have to scroll down gang for some reason uh, I lost where I was <coughs> oh. <laughs> I really hope Musk isn't connected to that creep. Yeah, and the whole infrastructure of it, right? Like all of them. Look at that. Nice seedy bread. Oh, yeah, that's zooming in nicely. Very good. 
Yeah, Tesla's still publicly traded. Still publicly traded. Tesla did a huge short squeeze. It went from uh, Mandarin sandwich. It went from uh, less than a hundred, less than two hundred, almost touching a thousand in the last month, and then it's come down to around seven hundred now. It is public, but that tweet put him in a lot of scrutiny. Plus, it was against the rules. Oh, this is a tweet when he was talking about maybe taking a private one. Tesla stock was being hit hard. It was Epstein company they were talking to. Oof. I used the word man flesh in the comment. Man flesh. The mo oh, in YouTube. YouTube. I would definitely. But I read some of the comments that YouTube had put into the uh, folder, the required for review, whatever it was, held for review they were benign they were benign i would definitely rather have my old account back yeah i had that one for years so it would be nice to get it back i guess we'll see during your next round of streams okay Gabir, let me know if whenever you want i can mod you here with that thing okay up to you brother got to get my uh go get my hazmat suit on chicho i'm out for drinks with my friend australia friend now oh yeah go somewhere safe not too public not too much insanity somewhere where people aren't drinking too heavy right one thing that happens when a bar a club when people start getting pretty juiced up i don't know if you guys hung around people who are juiced up heavy they lean into you and they talk and there's lots of spit flying around everywhere right we need we need tea back spot of tea back yep that tweet each other that tweet so it was connected with epstein ah oh, man don't tell me this i don't want to put musk in the same category as jobs i'm still wondering how twitch banned you if you weren't streaming twitch and obs are not owned by the same company they they could have a deal where they can monitor right yeah i don't think you can go from public uh from public back to private without buying up all the shares yeah dell did dell computers uh when i was in the markets they they were um public and then they went private okay it was lord of rings video though wow that's exactly what he said in his tweet what did he say if you can find the tweet energy and link it up that'd be great if you can even post it on our discord i have to find the tweet i guess oh i'm confused now okay in all honesty i have no idea i think it must just be because the accounts were linked i definitely wasn't streaming though i'll keep an eye out for the juiced up people see you for tomorrow's stream okay awesome coolio <laughs> stay away from the juiced up people man especially when they lean in and talk really loud and spit on you chicho that's how everyone talks to me in the pub oh my god <laughs> see me carrier <laughs> yeah martin the only reason i know is i've hung around pubs long enough to have that as well right at some point you gotta go out oh, the hell with it <laughs> that's why that's why you gotta get juiced up to the same level so it doesn't matter <laughs> plus the saudis were also connected to that tweet it really uh it is really deep shit one youtube sean uh um uh, tabwood broke it down wait atwood broke it down yeah i i know the whole echelon of power a lot of these things are a lot of these people are connected they hang around the same circles they have the same parties they have a room in the somewhere somewhere and oh hey come let's go check out that room oh, all of a sudden whoop, there's videos of you doing insane things because you were juiced up or cooked up or whatever it is right it's it's a trap it's a spider's net right i count your lucky stars you're not in that realm right count because 
A lot of people go into that realm before they know what's going on, and then they're in that spider's net, right? Spider's web, and that's it, all right? Count your lucky stars. Uh, the accounts are linked. Of course, the accounts are linked. That's how you stream to different platforms. But no data should be sent to Twitch if you're not streaming. Uh, disagree, Dante. If I go to Twitch when I'm not streaming, if I open up OBS, when I go to Twitch, if I type in anything in chat, I still see it pop up on OBS. So even though I'm not live streaming, OBS and Twitch are linked up. Okay. Are you sure it wasn't something you said or linked in chat or an inappropriate emote you uploaded or something in your profile? Chicho, afternoon to you in chat. Hope all is well as always. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Good afternoon to you as well. Martins, 9 p.m. I'm off duty. It's cider time then. Nice, nice. Can I post a link? Anuj, uh, uh, I will message. Okay, uh, post it in Discord, Anuj. Because that way people can see it if that's the Twitch, uh, uh, the link, right? That's just a chat window that's imported from Twitch. It's OBS taking your public Twitch chat and putting it, putting it in OBS. So the are you saying the connection is only one way it has to be both ways it must be both ways i can't see it being one directional no it's definitely from what i was looking at maybe i did accidentally hit a hotkey or something and it was streaming but i definitely never intentionally started streaming i'm not a discord oh okay oh okay so you whisper it to me okay good enough you know what is it there Okay, I'm gonna grab the whisper. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just gonna link it up for everyone. Uh, Elon Musk and Tesla. So this is an 18-minute video. Okay, I'm gonna link this up on. Uh, this is the. Are we even allowed to link this video? I don't know what this video is about, man. <laughs> you know what? I'll link it up on our Discord page because I don't know what this is about. Spotted T's got my, got me all scared now. I'm gonna link it up. Where should I link it up, uh, Anuj? What does this fit into? Let me know. Oh, what folders do we have? Crap. Uh, history, lectures, philosophy, podcast, politics. Politics. Okay, I'm gonna link it up in politics. That way, I remember to look at it. Okay, it's in our politics folder. Okay, gang. And you can find the link to our Discord page if you scroll down on Twitch at the bottom. There'll be a link to our Discord page. Dante, you're gonna test this yourself. No, Dante, don't get banned. Please. <laughs> Who is charging five thousand for a test kit for the virus? Uh, in the US, I think it was three thousand. One person wanted to go get tested and was like, you got a bill for like thirty two hundred or something. It's a video. I heard uh which country is it? There's a country which has drive through testing right now available i don't know how accurate the test is and they do it for free and it takes a few seconds who was that which country was that there was a country that was doing that for covid 19 right um where they've set up south korea is a south korea that had set it up where people can just drive through and get tested right who knows is a legitimate test but it does relax the population right calm things down it's our power platform okay hello everyone first time here quinty how are you doing welcome to our stream probably taiwan i can't remember someone's i know just saying south korea it might have been south korea because they they went very aggressive into trying to contain it because if it goes crazy in south korea man in any country really probably wakanda <laughs> the black panthers in right fun 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 what do you know it works you are thinking something for, <laughs> for a message to be highlighted what do you know it works Lava, there we go there's our method to getting the market back on track pop-up drive-through that sells 90% of people they don't have the virus 
who knows if it's factual or not doesn't matter that's exactly what it could be right that's exactly what it could be but you could think about it this way if someone's needs a little bit of comfort right if they need to feel secure as a human being you would give it to them right so as a society if people need that comfort maybe it's a good idea to provide to provide it to them at a cost for a temporary basis right reduce panic increase market confidence till someone finds out maybe until it burns itself down maybe until you get legit kits where people start you know bring the cost down so you have legit kits and you can test people legit and get the right results it's just a delay factor right possibly especially in places where people are losing their minds right or places where there is no health care if there is no health care you got to provide it right yeah three thousand for tests is way too much that's absurd to be charging that much yeah that's what i that's what i heard by the way from a clip nothing that i watched myself right so um or confirm myself anyway i watched it from a clip uh, from a clip right three thousand for the test kit okay yeah if, if it was three thousand for a test kit here in canada there aren't too many people i know that would get tested even if they got sick they couldn't afford it right how long between watching tos breaking stuff and the ban oh i believe it one of the guys that the cdc forced into quarantine testing got a four thousand dollar bill sent to him after the fact yeah and the kicker is if they force you to go into quarantine they're not even flipping the bill for you how about china using a hotel for victims and overcrowding it until it collapsed uh, 70 trap it did they uh, this is the first time i'm hearing about a t i don't know that that hasn't hit my radar what do you do if you can't afford it do you just die um i don't know what you do in the united states in canada they have to treat you you walk into an emergency they have to look at you right they have to save your life right i don't know what the situation is in the united states but even in canada if it, if the system gets overwhelmed it's, it won't be able to treat everyone like it's not going to happen in the u.s they don't care eh? what really oh yeah yeah i haven't heard anything about that martin old people are gonna die um there are youth being affected as well and we don't know what the side effects of this thing are look at world bank pandemic bonds oh yeah i saw the world bank pandemic bonds we talked about them during the last stream right but our, i don't know about uh the the building collapsing the world bank pandemic bonds were 500 million dollars that they sold they were paying anywhere between seven to eleven percent interest yielding seven to eleven percent one of them was higher risk right because you wouldn't get your original investment back or something like this i wouldn't say that I don't care but the insurance companies sure don't yeah well put aviate agreed americans care in u.s they have hundreds of depots full of coffins ready for the victims crazy bro out there. that's been around for 15 years the stuff so who you know people are, every time something like this says people say it's for this it's for this we don't know we don't know no this was uh cd bread <clears throat> i know if you're if you mean what i'm munching on it's like multi-grain cd bread i pick up from a bakery it's really good amazing with cheese and right now they're saying a lot of the kids are kind of resistant to the effects of the illness so they're basically tiny little carriers is that what they're saying <laughs> those little buggers <laughs> oh my god northern italy is going to be 
quarantine and locked down completely Lombardy Lombardy region are they yeah something's off about this this thing right we'll see how it's playing out we're gonna keep our eyes on the numbers gang and that's what we're gonna focus on I don't want to go down the rabbit holes because there's so many rabbit holes in this thing uh, is this bioweapon was it was it designed to take out the per, uh, economy why was china iran hit why aren't they containing it why are they saying it's all okay why but 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 but, 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 but the connections are so deep right you can't jump on everything the only thing that's consistent with all of them they're all using the same numbers so we're all going to look at the same numbers right and be ahead of the curve that's the key here you want to be ahead of the curve and i just shot a video this morning mentioning this talking about this which hopefully i'll have up in the next couple of days if i'm not able to get to it it'll be next week i have to upload it right uh it's just going to be a short little thing talking about why mathematics is important okay post-apocalypse how are you doing post uh, post-apocalypse regarding links it has to be through our discord only mods and myself are able to post links american emergency rooms have to treat patients even if they don't have insurance by the law too oh is it right on uh, cello relinked that's good to know that's a positive that's a positive right and i hope everyone knows that so if you're feeling ill go to the hospital without any i oh no no i can't give recommendations like this uh go get taken care of is draft so most likely by tonight here in belgium they don't take any measurements against it we have over 100 infected wow in belgium people and the governments do nothing it will spread exponentially that's for sure you have 100 in belgium yeah that's a little bit uh because belgium population of belgium what is it it's not huge and depends which cities right coronavirus china hotel collapsing oh martin let's check this out china hotel collapses trapping 70 people the two hours ago oh wow a hotel being used as a coronavirus quarantine center in china has collapsed leaving 70 people trapped the five-story building in fujian province was being used to house and observe people who had come into contact with the covid 19 patients when it collapsed at around 7 30 p.m local wow crazy that just happened basically almost when we went live eh oh that's unfortunate thanks for finding that out martin and linking it up and uh, i forget who was the person that brought it up thank you for bringing it up to our attention uh, that's unfortunate there's the weird stuff going on investors getting 13 percent interest every year they expire july 2020 and investors get their money back it was designed to fail in the ebola congo outbreak took nine months for funds to get out yeah uh i think it was quinty that brought that to our attention from what i read of the article that we linked it up on our discord page too if they declared a pandemic a few hundred million dollars from those derivatives will not be released there it's a gamble boom gone right so if they if they declare the pandemic then the interest is not paid and for some of those derivatives the funds are also taken as well so we don't know who who's investing in that we don't know who the players are right uh, i believe who was also involved with the world bank with it right they have their names on it as well so i watched not so safe stuff with obs open for five minutes and nothing so far dante stop it <laughs> don't get bad banned <laughs> why risk it don't open obs Chi in canada they took me once without id nice yeah in canada you, you just sorry i'm sick i don't know i don't want to post link no don't post it if you don't want to martin population is belgium is only 10 million and most of them came from ski vacations oh in infected italy parts oh no they even kept the school open oh no really crazy Ugh. 
No, that two hour was the time it was posted. Oh yeah, that would have been the time it was posted, I guess, yeah. Zeke MC, speaking of coronavirus, New York has declared a state of emergency because it broke out there. Yeah, Sleepy Waves is from New York. He's been letting us know. Uh, he mentioned. I don't know if Sleepy Waves it was a state of emergency. He didn't tell us it was a state of emergency. Independent UK newspaper. Okay. Right now, what I'm what I'm getting into doing now is linking everything through archive.org. If they're mainstream, these propaganda sites, I go to archive, grab an archive link, and I link that. Trying to do that anyway. It takes a little bit of time sometimes. Posted link to live global map of COVID-19 in health category and this course. Okay, thanks for post-apocalypse. Is that the John Hopkins one? That's the one I've been looking at. There's no way this gets uh, you banned. It just makes no sense. OBS is open source. Why would they send data to Twitch without you knowing? Ah, they, they, OBS is open source. Okay, so that's a, a huge positive. Oh, shit. In New York City gets hit hard by it. We all get screwed. Yeah, New York City is huge traffic zone, right? Everywhere. Same with Denver. Denver is huge too. You would notice that on the network data as well was 11 30 a.m my time nine hours ago nine hours ago yeah it didn't hit my radar this morning when i was going through the stuff what are we supposed to do live under a rock no the next six months and hannah this could be a reoccurring thing coming up every year what are you gonna do all right this is getting ridiculous the medical community needs to do their job and get a vaccine out there uh, out already um i wouldn't put the blame on the medical community right it, it's it's our economic system right now right the first thing that needs to happen serious funds have to be released to take care of people on the ground don't give it to pharmaceutical companies don't give it to wall street don't give it to the banks right after 2008 scam they gave all the money to the banks right <laughs> what what the largest theft in human history right so if this thing happens if there's funds going to be released from centralized power then it needs to go to the streets to the ground right unfortunately it won't all right i actually got back to america from a steady abroad trip in northern italy my school shut down the program and called us back you just got back recently uh, bunny icky bunny they're saying a cure is at least one to two years out. I don't think there'll be a cure, to tell you the truth. In Netherlands, there was one fatality because of co uh, Corona, and TwitchCon Amsterdam was canceled. Wow. All Most of the major comic conventions are canceled as well. Can the virus get deadlier the longer it stays? It could, and it could also die itself out, right? So it could mutate, die out, or become deadlier as you said when the u.s had 149 cases and 12 deaths yesterday that means the death rate was uh at least eight percent way higher than the flu yeah way higher than the flu vaccines take time to develop 100 percent. i have been front and center as to how the u.s is reacting and it is not great it is not great it is horrendous the way they're acting i have been following the map spread from raw data source i pulled from a uh, business article cool yeah i came back uh two days ago two days ago Oof. okay be careful if i got banned from twitch i would the who has said that it it it's false hope to assume that this will be seasonal false hope to assume that this will be seasonal that this won't be seasonal so it will be seasonal be very upset i thought there was no uh cures for viruses i think we just treat it as it goes away yeah i think so too i had no screening or anything and it was required for me to fly home by my university wow the thing is that my sick people don't declare themselves and think they just have the flu many people will will do that crazy bro athen right well quinty you have to take into account the number differences 
the flu case case numbers are in the tens of thousands of course the percentages would be higher with smaller numbers yeah look it up how to calm down from the fears listen to listen to chicho say some more coronavirus videos <laughs> seriously listen to asmr watch asmr videos relax read a book read a comic book read it read like a happy book that's how you can calm down right read expose yourself to beautiful things go for a walk in non-populated areas go to nature all right pet your cats pet your dogs eat eat oranges I'm going to watch every virus, every virus, end of the world film TV series and documentary I can find. Martin, here's one movie that I can almost guarantee you that none of you have seen, and it's a virus movie. Okay, I forget what the name is, but do a search. You should be able to find it. I believe it came out in the 1970s. Okay, it's about someone going into a lab, I believe where they get sick they're sick and they hop on a train and they they're running escaping from the police from like and they run through the food uh what do you call it a compartment right and there's a big pot of rice in there and they cough into the rice right and then the police chase them down and i don't know what happens right and the train starts moving okay and people eat on the train so everyone eats this food and people start getting sick so they don't allow the train to stop martin you know this movie what's the movie called it's a fantastic movie train to busan is that what it's called i don't know but basically the train they don't allow it to stop anywhere i've seen it have you seen it oh my god you guys have seen it what a great movie they they refuse to let the train stop right and then they come on there i, I saw this i've seen it a couple times a long time ago right and i think they close it off no no not the korean movie you're you're thinking anu you're thinking about snowpiercer this isn't snowpiercer okay this is an american movie i think 1970s and they close it off the whole train because people are uh the powers that be they don't want this virus because it was genetically engineered to escape into the into the general population right so everyone's getting sick people are dying people are trying to escape and then i believe it's a doctor or someone on the train finds out there's a i'm not going to give any spoilers i can't give any more spoilers okay so that's the movie okay it's a great movie it was a fun movie over the past week it spread fast it, it follows influenza pandemic patterns it would slow growth rate in summer and grow very fast in the fall but it might not have the same pattern hey chicho how are you three stooges how are you doing ain't this a coincidence a 100 year a 100 years ago there was a spanish flu yeah and it didn't really start off in spain the spanish flu oh i smoke but uh mad but i'm good but yes, all that sounds good. I thought the train says the spoiler, bro. What does the doctor say? <laughs> Casablanca Express? No, I don't think so. Cassandra Crossing? Is that what it is? 1981 trailer. 1981, that's when it came out? A thriller novel called The Dark Eyes. No, no, Dark Eyes. Dean Corona details the current Corona situation that starts in Wuhan. Is it even possible to give spoilers to a movie released in 1970s? I don't know. No, I'm going to check out this. I, I want to see if this is a train to Busan. I don't think, no. I don't think it's train to Busan. Casablanca, no. The Cassandra Crossing? Is that what it was? This Cassandra Crossing came out in 1976. Set, says out outbreak meets the runaway train the cassandra crossing is that what it watch parasite is made. yeah i've uh i've I have a sample of it so i might be watching it cassandra i hope it's, this is the movie i want to try to get my hands on it yeah yeah i think this is it yeah this is it oh my god awesome job gang i'm gonna track this baby down and have a watch 
an Anu uh, parasite I plan on watching once uh, I get into the uh, headspace of it. The Cassandra Crossing is a 1976 disaster thriller film directed by George Pan Cosmatos and starring Sophia Loren. Oh, Sophia Loren is it? I totally forgot about Richard Harris, Ava Gardner, awesome, Martin Sheen, Burt Lancaster, Lee Strasberg, and O.J. Simpson about an infected Swedish terrorist who infects a train's passengers as they head to a derelict arch bridge. That's it. <laughs> the lineup is huge, awesome. It's in the for, uh, foreign film or American I don't know okay I will watch Cassandra Crossing these old movies were so much better than uh, than now yeah some of these ones were phenomenal man children of men is an oh children of men is fantastic too is a great movie set in dystopian society yeah I love children of men as well that was a great movie there's a trailer for Cassandra Crossing yeah watch the trailer gang it's it's a great uh it's a great uh it's a, it, from what i remember anyway the last time i watched it i think was over 20 years ago right like literally it was like over 20 years ago uh and i think i watched it maybe during a sars outbreak that happened in the early early 2000s i think that's when i this is basically my two go-to uh virus video that i watch italy united kingdom west germany film is that what it is italy united kingdom west germany like seriously you got sophia loren one of the greatest divas of all time ava gardner one of the greatest divas of all time burt lancaster one of the greatest actors of all time and richard the hair um who's the other one richard harris as well martin sheen was great right oh oj simpson really <laughs> Dude. sophia loren and ava gardner hey caramamba i tagged with these ladies in the 1940s yeah martin sheen as well martin sheen as well right man i gotta go grab this full movie like today <laughs> grab a sample of it a chocolate tea with honey fun when the existence of a strain of plague vaguely identified as pneumonia is re revealed at the u.s mission at the international health organization three terrorists seek to blow up the u.s mission has anyone seen that christian bale movie equilibrium yeah i like that that was a great movie too equilibrium very good movie very good movie fun oh wow we're almost into two hours gang these streams fly by yeah we're up to almost two hours I should just look at the clock it's really creepy how accurate the dark eyes event events in the book line up with the situation in China so what was that book uh, uh, Quinty are you on our discord page if you're on our discord page please put uh, just name or provide a link to this book in our book folder we have two book folders one of them in serious books uh, or heavy, light topics one of them in heavy topics so if it's fiction you can post it on light topics or heavy topics up to you uh, if you're on discord that'd be great that way everyone has access to it and remembers equilibrium was great but it definitely came out like a year too late I got knocked off as as a matrix wannabe i think i think so too but it was a great movie i didn't actually see it till years later and the other movie which is uh, amazing is existence uh, by cronenberg that came out at the same time as the matrix but the matrix took the spotlight i went and saw the matrix three times in the theater and i went and saw existence three times in the theater to me they were both absolutely phenomenal I love the puppy killing head twitch scene the puppy killing head twitch scene i don't remember this what is this from the dark eyes a lot of action in that scene oh the, that movie was interesting existing existence was phenomenal phenomenal i saw it on sci-fi when i was a kid nice nice 
Puppy killing scene in oh in equilibrium. I can't remember it. I watched it so long ago. The gun fightings. Gun kung fu. Do you think Matrix two and three were should it? Uh, no, I didn't mind them. They weren't. The Matrix, the Matrix was phenomenal. It was because it was brand new and no one really understood what was going on, right? So it was all novel, right? And then Matrix 2 and 3 came out and people trash talked at the Living Daylights. I was like, man, stop trash talking this thing. It's not bad. They were pretty good, right? People get spoiled, right? Every time we return uh, from the nethers to the city, it always reminds me why we do what we do yeah the gun foo was great dark city is much better than either of those uh, in my opinion oh dark city or dark I yeah dark city is fantastic and it came came just before the matrix dark city had a huge cult following dark city in my part of the world like when it came out everybody was talking about it uh, in Vancouver like a lot of people were like oh man did you see Dark City Dark City we went and saw it multiple times in the theaters Matrix Form is filming right now are they no way really Lonely Piggy I don't know whether to be worried or excited <laughs> I, I, well yeah oh yeah I gotta tell you this Bloodshot movies coming out next week and I'm not gonna go to the theater to watch it I'm staying away from theaters right i was gonna break my boycott of theaters to go see the bloodshot movie but now i'm not because of covid19 right i was very disappointed i know there's other things to be disappointed about and worried about but it's sad christian bale stopped uh taking that serum thing and had a feeling for puppy oh yeah, yeah. Oh, i barely remember the puppy scene on which I actually like Matrix 2 and 3. The fight scenes were so dope. Yeah, I agree, Curtis. I thought they were good. Like, people were trash talking. I'm like, don't trash talk, man. Dark City was great. That's another I didn't see till a year after its release. Matrix 4 is coming. I'm more hyped for that than John Wick 4. I'm into John Wick's, man. The John Wick flicks are fantastic. Have you watched uh, Michael Haken's works? I don't know who Michael Haken's is. Henkies. And Tenet is also uh, releasing this year. Cool. Hi, Chicho. Hello, Gina. How are you doing? How was your week? Week was good. Busy. Lots of students. Lots of video editing and stuff. I was editing the last video we put out with the ASMR map looking at the growth rate of China if it was the same outside that one took me it took me a couple of days to do that it took me a while to do that there's only one extra thing I would have added on but I was done with editing it was took me a while okay Vin Diesel is everywhere I kind of lost interest in Bloodshot movie when the they decided to use I like Vin Diesel man I like Vin Diesel like people trash talk Vin Diesel no man he's done good I like him right I saw a clip of a stunt from the movie on Twitter a few weeks ago. Looked awesome, but still worried. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm still hesitant, but I'm just excited to see a bloodshot movie. I was going to uh, put my kids back in public school, but now I think I will keep them at home, homeschool another year at least. Post-apocalypse. Right now, schools are closing in a number of countries. We'll see how it plays out. Keanu Reeves is gem. We must protect him at all costs. <laughs> John Wick 4 and Matrix 4 are coming out the same week. What? <laughs> is John Wick in the Matrix? It'd be amazing if they did an overlap. Well, they can't do an overlap. There's different time zones. Australian director. Michael Haken. What has he directed, uh, Value uh, Detector? I'm really bad with names, man. But movies I tend to remember. What movie do you like with Vin Diesel? Um the uh what's it called uh, chronicles of riddick i like but uh black dark oh what was the, what was the first riddick movie he put out uh with the creatures that come out at night that was fantastic i've seen that movie like four times really good movie man if you like sci-fi pitch black phenomenal phenomenal half-life 2 is a dystopian game that i really love I highly recommend it riddick is good and maybe the first uh, fast and furious i haven't got into but everything else eh. 
Pitch Black is great. Pitch Black is phenomenal. The Fast and the Furious, I haven't got into. And Triple X, I wasn't into. Like, I like his sci-fi gigs. His first starring role. Was it? Pitch Black was his first starring role. He did a phenomenal job. IP Man is my favorite MMA movie. I've seen IP Man 1 and 2. I haven't seen 3 and 4. 4 came out recently. The scene where the fights... Uh, 10 Japan soldiers just wow yeah yeah I, IP man was fantastic some people say Ip man I don't know oh yeah Vin Diesel better than rock greater than rock I agree but the rock gets more better roles right Riddick was supposed to die no ever played the Riddick video game I recommend it no I love the first triple X as a young teen I, I, I saw it it wasn't my thing right I was older though so fun games cash the seventh uh, continent more active on the European scene does not prefer to work with Hollywood studios good right that's the kicker right that's why I don't see him here as much right I, the movies don't get as much release and I don't hear about it, it doesn't hit my radar rice equals man Ch -ch -ch. I think i was 14 or 15 cool cool okay gang should we call the stream we're gonna do stream tomorrow as well chicho there's a russian movie called stalker i've seen stalker by alexandria Tor tarkovsky it's slow but are really good i've seen stalker a long time ago it came out like over 10 years ago i think didn't it what are two books you recommend from your collection uh, what do you what type of book do you want to read the rock seems like a genuinely awesome dude but he takes way too many roles now yeah he seems like a nice guy right but you know it is what it is but your bay protein waffles ain't bad okay gang um what was the question we had da, da, da. books oh yeah let me give you two book recommendations random <laughs> elegant universe by brian green if you want to know about string theory okay and physics this came out in 2000 so we know more now but this was really good read okay and 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 Oop. bone by jeff smith one of the greatest epic stories ever told okay two book recommendations The rock can only play the rock <laughs> stay safe stay positive stay awesome take care everyone take care everyone and if you can make it we're doing a live stream tomorrow morning 10 till 12 okay aside from that as apocalypse says stay safe stay positive stay awesome bye chicho bye everyone scorpion king was good too i like the scorpion king cheers everyone enjoy your weekend and thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the bits okay and the mods thank you for taking care of business